finally got to see next year's car. What are your thoughts of the 2022 car? Interesting. It's very different uh, mm -hmm. to what we are used to. Um, the most important is that we improve the racing, that we can race closer. And uh, if this is the way forward, of course, you know, I'm, I'm for that. So, uh, yeah. 2022 will be a serious challenge, getting used to a new car, a new era of car. And if it, again, if it enables us to follow and, and race like it's planned to, I think it'll be amazing for the fans and for the sport. I like the rear of it. The rear looks looks pretty old school. Um, well, it reminds me of like more like 2008, that, that style, which is cool. The front is very different, but I think like all things, just gonna, the more you stare at it, the more normal it will start to look, so. As long as it's good to drive, it's a proper race car, we can have a lot of fun in it. That's the main thing. I, I really like uh, the car from the front wheels back. I think the, how aggressive it is and, and the aggressive looks plus the rear wing, I think it looks different. It looks more aggressive than the current ones. Looks simpler also, which uh, hopefully improves the racing. And yeah, just I think it's just cool in general. Oh, it's definitely going to, to change quite a bit. We've already tried it on the simulator and we can already tell that it's quite a, a different car to drive. But as uh, Carlos said, it looks, uh, it looks cool. I think it looks uh, aggressive, nice. Uh, hopefully it will be quick, hopefully it will improve racing, which I think is the most important. And uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. Yeah, it's pretty exciting. Uh, I think it looks, it looks great. You can clearly see the, the difference with uh, the car we're driving. So uh, yeah, pretty excited to see them on track next year. Oh, it's different for sure. Uh, you know, it's very simplified around the barge board area. Um, wow. And there's a lot of, of sophistication under the floor now. And that's the idea that you know, it's going to help racing, uh, allow us to follow closer. Uh, I think it looks it looks good. It looks uh, futuristic and uh, yeah, hopefully we, we see a, a better racing, all the cars uh, closer together and, and close uh, battles. Yeah, for sure look uh, really different, you know, and uh, compared to the, the, car, the current car. And uh, yeah, we'll see, we'll see what, uh, what will happen. Hopefully we can have, you know, uh, all we want that we can uh, race you know, much, uh, much closer together to follow the car and, uh, but yeah, look, uh, look nice, a little bit smaller as well. And uh, yeah, look nice. No, I think it looks great to be honest and I'm um, excited. Obviously the idea behind the change is, is the right idea. And I guess we just have to wait and see when it hits the track, if it performs as well as, as we all hope, but it's definitely, I guess the first time sports ever had a, sort of a working group towards making racing better. And that's as a driver, all we, all we want. How important is that fact that the sport has come together to, to produce this new car? Yeah, massively. I think obviously um, there's been a lot of interest in just making the cars faster and faster and faster and the, the racing side of things have, has been secondary. Now I think everybody's really pushed to have a car that allows us to race, allows us to push. And I really think this will provide that. So, I mean, obviously we're still six months away or whatever until we'll hit, hit the road in winter testing but i think overall it is really exciting and um you know overall the sport and the future is looking looking great